welcome back to the Rompreneur vlog and today we're going to be talking about running and eating okay so the Rompreneur vlog is part of the bigger picture which is the Rompreneur challenge which is our mission our fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon so to find out more about the challenge and how to support it please check the links in the comments below and let's get started So, running and eating is today's topic. Well, first and foremost, you should only really eat when running when you're doing longer distance endurance events. So I'm talking mainly about today, about the process of when to eat and when to run to avoid <laughs> those uh, difficult stories of needing to go to the toilet when you run or the stories of just discomfort when running. So. This is pretty simple really. Now, ideally, you want to eat three hours before you run in an ideal world. Okay, that's what you'd always aim for. But quite often, life gets in the way and we can't be so structured in the way that we plan our runs and you end up eating slightly earlier. So, sorry, slightly later than you would prefer. In those situations and you haven't digested your food fully, I think you're normally okay maybe two, two and a half hours before running depending on the volume of food. If you eat a, a substantial meal, you'd want to give three hours. If it's like snacky foods and stuff, two to two and a half hours should be sufficient. But you're cutting it fine if you eat within two hours of when you go out for a run. And uh, so first of all, what do you do if you, if you have eaten too close to a run? Well, just slow it down. If you push too hard, your body's going to be working too hard, which is going to stop its ability to digest food effectively and focus more on running then you're going to have food sitting there without being digested and it's going to be rocking about in your belly you're going to get uncomfortable stomach you get stitches etc so slow it down slow it down run at an easier pace and your body will be able to hopefully cope with both the other thing that's important to avoid stitches is get a sensible breathing pattern so try and get a rhythmic breathing going if you breathe in a nice rhythmic form you're maximizing the amount of oxygen you intake and you're exhaling in a very rhythmic fashion your body will be working more efficiently and it will stop you getting a stitch okay so that's really important so what if you face a scenario where you're you, you haven't eaten you're starving and you want to go out for a run you don't want to run depleted i mean some people do and different people can kind of deal with that better if you if you're going to run depleted slow the pace down again your body hasn't got maximum energy so don't push it to expect maximum performance okay so nice and easy and hopefully you'll still get through your run if you want to eat before you run and you've got little time take in high carbohydrate food and take in stuff that's going to be absorbed quickly into your system so generally speaking when we talk about carbohydrates we want to eat more kind of complex carbs which is more whole grain fresh foods those side of things because they release energy at a slower rate throughout your body and kind of appease those hunger pangs that you get from eating the more simple carbs but if you've got to store something in your system quick to get out simple carbs are probably better now this is just my experience i'm not a nutritionist there may be a lot this might be quite controversial but i find simple carbs like high sugar content and stuff gets absorbed into my system quicker and gives me that energy boost quicker as my body can deal with it quicker whereas when i'm at home and i hadn't got a run planned i'd always focus more on complex carbs so um that's kind of my my take on this because at the same side of things when you're running endurance events the carbohydrate you're taking is really high sugar you know those energy gels and things super high sugar content because it's absorbed into the system so quickly to give you that energy boost if you're at home and you're wanting to satisfy your hunger pangs then no you're not going to take that type of food because it's absorbed super quick and you're hungry again really quickly so it doesn't really help it's like wasted calories in some respects but when you're running it's very different so that's my take on running and eating i always aim to eat three hours before i run if possible or i run on an empty stomach but i'm always consciously aware 
of how fueled or charged my body is before I run because I think if you're not aware if you push yourself too hard that's where injuries or discomfort or or things can go wrong when running which we try and avoid so I hope that's useful as always please remember that the Rumpreneur vlog is part of the bigger picture which is the Rumpreneur challenge which is our fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon find out more about that and how you can support it by checking the links in the comments below thank you for your support stay positive stay happy and I'll see you tomorrow